But basically it's just rabbit zonker strip and such and you just got to cut it. Now the hook I'm using is a Finnish streamer hook size 6. Now all you do is put it into the vise nice and straight. Now this is the fun part here. This is a dyed olive rabbit strip. Now it's one centimetre wide and what I've done here I've cut it into as you can see this shape here and coloured up the ends using a red sharpie pen. This is going to form the claws. That there, this part here is going to the collar or the sort of fine legs near near the eyes. So it's going to do everything for us. It's going to quite easily sit on, sit on. But what you must do first is what I like to do is put the thread on. Now I'm using a, a light olive uni 60 thread which is quite strong. Now to lift or separate these legs or the, and the claws I like to put a bulking agent in and this here it's a dyed olive fritz. Use whatever fritz you like. This one's got a gold fleck through it. It's dying it on nice and tight and then touch and turns build up the fritz. One turn in front of the other. Just stroking back any fibres that's going forward. Pull them back. This will help lift and separate materials for you. I'm sure it's tied in. Put a wee bit of layer of thread down onto the hook before you go any further. Shoot. Then what you want to do is get your prepared piece of fur. It's very easy, just pull this back, you set it either side, and then tie it down nice and tight, close to the fritz itself. This here will separate it for you. Now, this here, this part, is going to be for the, some of the legs. All you have to do is just bring them down either side. Bring your thread up, looking at a loose turn, and tie them down. See how this is sitting. Now before you go any further, bind this nice and tight. And by cutting into that point, as you see, it's formed, helping you to form a nice taper, which you need in the crayfish itself. Now, you can, this point here, as you see, I've got to this area. Now you need the legs. And this is flexi floss I'm using. You can use other materials if you like, but this is what I've got. And all it does is I've used the sharpie pen again to colour up the tips. Just give you a bit of aiming point or something to, for, the fish, uh, for the fish to look at. Now you can get your length just for the antennae and then for the legs. You can fold these back if you want. And just pull them back either side. Again, gives you some more effect, more movement in the fly. Be nice and tight. Now to put the eyes on, what I've used in here is some chain, chain bead. I'm going to tie them on the top because this will flip the fly over for you. And all you do really is figure eight thread in between the, the beads and the eyes back and forward. Now get some glue, this is circuit super glue, just put it in as quick as you can, pick it right through, it will not move. Now while I was preparing the, the claws I used the dubbing, I kept the dubbing or the, the fur itself, and I've put a bit of glister in, all of glister, which is going to be for the body. Let's go into your thread. Now all I'm doing here just now is tidying up the back, and in between the eyes. Just stretch it out, do a figure eight through. It's just really to tidy it up. Now 
just a very quick look. It's okay. Now I'm going to flip it back around. Bring the thread right up close towards the eyes. Now I'm using six pound one filament or nylon. Use whatever you like. Nice and tight, and then run your thread back up. Make sure that's tied in. Thread up to this point here. Make sure there's a layer of thread down before you bring any materials up. Take your thread back down, and again, get your dubbing. And build up your body. Now you want it quite thick, meaning when you wind your, your monofilament up the body, it wants to sink into the actual material. Okay, just build it up. Just keep going. Forming like a carrot shape. You can go back and forward to suit, fill in the, the spaces. Now for the, the shell back, I'm going to be using thin skin. Just a clear, it's a clear thin skin with a black fleck on it. It does take on the colour of the material underneath, so you don't have to worry too much. You could use an olive one if you want. Now I've got it prepared here. Now this is about 7-8mm thick. Got it into a point. And all, it's quite very simple. All we do is sit it on the top. Then with your thread here, catch it down. A good half a dozen turns or so. Then what you want to do then is bring your monofilament and nylon up through, tying it down. Get going. All the way up. Then across your thread. Nice and tight. Make sure this is tied in. And don't worry about the eye, you can actually open this up. Now what I'm going to do here is bring the thread to the front and underneath this. Come away the nylon. And straight in white finish. Now for the form, like the tail of this, the crayfish, all you do is straight across and then get your scissors and cut it, straight cuts. All this does is it adds a bit of flair or so to it. Then, last thing you need to do really is to velcro some of the rabbit. Now, you could have done it before you brought it over the back to get a wee bit more, but this this does. And a wee bit of varnish at the eye, around here, all the way around. And there you go.